the only five perfumes you need save all that trouble and just own these five from my perfume collection if i had to select only five perfumes to get me through rainy weather stormy weather sunshine cloudy days warm hot cold tropical vibes desert vibes and everything in between these are the five that i will pick out of my collection if i had to get rid of all of my perfumes today and only leave five behind they may not be the five that are necessarily my top favorites but they're definitely some of my favorites and they're the most versatile it's a commitment to put this out there and say that to you guys i can't take this back once i once i already say this i can't take it back here they are i'm nervous but we're gonna do it we're gonna go through the list number five the first one I'm going to mention here is Amouage Sunshine. I'm gonna go straight to the point because we could be here forever, but this is a fruity, white floral, aromatic, nutty vanilla. It's creamy, it's got floral, so like um, jasmine from what I remember, magnolia, osmanthus, and osmanthus can be sweet as well. Oh, this is a beautiful, fruity, nutty, creamy fragrance. This would be my summer pick, um, spring, summer, summer pick. But the thing is, with these scents that I'm going to mention, they're basically all year round scents. I feel like I could even pick this in winter, even autumn. You know it's just so rounded it's great quality it can be a signature scent and i think that it's worthy to be in this list i find that this scent actually has you know the typical ingredients that i really like patchouli uh, vanilla and it's very creamy so i i like it it has great longevity it's close to the skin but it also smells like a perfume so it's light spicy it's just an all-rounder scent you would buy this because it's great quality it is a perfume that will take you to all situations but it still smells feminine you know um it, it can smell really classy it smells really mature at the same time but still flirty because of the fruits in there as well and the the creamy it's very sensual i had up to like 20 you know divided by five that i had there to select from and i still went with amouage sunshine even though i could have chose chanel number five i could have chose um chanel um coco mademoiselle intense i just narrowed it down to amouage sunshine and this is a statement like i'm here i'm a woman i love myself i am beautiful i have a lot to give i am strong you know just proud of myself that's kind of amouage sunshine you know she's not very aggressive she stands her ground and she's still feminine and beautiful it had to be the peak in the top five and i'm i'm surprised too because narrowing down with all these great other options that i had but this this is a treasure okay look let's just jump to the next perfume let's not waste time onto the next it is a privilege to make it onto this list baccarat rouge 540 this is almost like a transformer it works in any situation okay th this could be an event a function um it could be a wedding scent Ooh, a wedding scent as well look it's beautiful it's um attention grabbing but not aggressive it's it's light it's easy it's so likable day night look we are not even complicating things i don't have to think too hard i don't have too many options but she's just sitting there i just grab her like don't need to think twice not at all and easy compliment getter so look we're just going with it this is baccarat rouge 540 auto perform because you know the extra is just a little too sexy it's just a little too intimate whereas this one 
the siage is just a little louder you know it's for crowd pleasing moments so what you're getting here is a fresh spicy a warm spicy aromatic it's a little woody it's a little spicy it's got um saffron jasmine ambergris yeah it's basically embery as well let's move on to the next scent i can't believe this but roses barbaranza is in this list this is woody this is rose this is sweet it's floral it's warm spicy it's vanilla did i say nutty yes mm. and rum there's rum in here now julian when you were making this what was going through your mind this is so interesting top notes tangerine okay middle notes listen to this damask rose pistachio raspberry ginger and green notes imagine that okay base notes a hazelnut honey vanilla rum woody notes benzoin saffron violet and cedar cedar like listen they're not playing with these ingredients but this is so appropriate for this group because that vanilla rum dry down and you can't really smell the honey but it's in there it's in there this would be a perfect all-rounder scent okay it's intriguing it is feminine of course classy all those great things great quality but it almost feels like a signature scent and it brings an impression like it is a personality it is much better on the skin than in the bottle trust me it definitely made it onto this list i know it surprised me too but here we are we are not just about the number of perfumes i have type of situation on this channel we're about quality and experience when we're talking perfumes and fragrances okay we are not just out there to buy for decoration that's not what we do here we're looking at a wardrobe we're looking at a capsule wardrobe we're looking at making our money count it may be that you've never smelled these perfumes before but this is why i'm trying to explain them to you so that you understand why they had to be in this list this was well thought out so if you've watched all my other videos and you feel like you trust me this is one of those videos you'll need to trust me on when i say this are the five perfumes in my collection that I need if I had to lose it all if this house had to flood look I would have to pick these five let me introduce to you modern sensuality modern ambery goodness this is sensuality in a bottle this has such surprising ingredients it has like grapefruit it has orange you know patchouli vanilla all those great things it also has narcissus peach obviously rose geranium things like that this is a dark rose with some florals you know like white florals it is very sensual sexy it had to be in this wardrobe because we're gonna need something specifically for sexy dates or when we are dressed up like fitted dress or mini dress with some cleavage you know this is necessary in this group this is the vibe this is the occasion okay we're talking cleavage short dress figure hugging type of situation as you can see like we can't go without a sexy rose so this was my pick from my whole collection and i tried to pick scents that won't irritate you once you like them there will be scents you will love for eternity that's that's what we're going for here i mean in this range i also had oud satin mood from maison francis i also had dior addict 
was also in this selection but for an all-rounder classic and accessibility was also important and price was also important you want something you can repurchase of course this is still designer niche type of prices but you know it could be worse it could really be really bad so this is a good price range now obviously you could also wear it as a signature set but in this group i'm using it as a sexy night type of fragrance so that's it coco noir made it to our list amouage journey this is tobacco yellow florals this is sweet this is lactonic it almost smells aromatic it's so strange it's so different and yet likable it's just odd but in the best possible way it's quality it's signature scent worthy all year round and it is just in between when you're not sure what's happening for the night you know you know when you're friends with those people they're like oh let's just go with the flow when they don't really plan anything yes you you wear this type of perfume because it would take you everywhere you need to go exclusive bars i don't know if you live that kind of life take it with you and it's just such a classy scent as well this is definitely unisex but it makes an interesting woman you know they used cipro oil in here which is like earthy powdery like earthy kind of woody kind of smell and they also used nagamotha it's like a plant that i think they use for obesity and indigestion and things like that like they went all out with these ingredients like i i don't even know okay but you've got some peach in there and all the other stuff that we recognize that you know are common in in other perfumes but like tonic like really in a perfume <laughs> It, it just adds to the uniqueness i guess but it's not so far out there that you would hate it no 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 once you love it you'll love it it's it'll be your classic it'll be your signature scent so it had to be in this five five only fragrance wardrobe listen i said it i said it i was a little bit nervous to commit to these five but we made it i said it and it's already out there and i don't know i can't take it back because i did really think about these five these are not the top five best perfumes i have or the top five favorite perfumes i have no these are just the five essentials these are the only five that i think are the most necessary or the all-rounder scents that summarize my collection basically summarize likes dislikes in in fragrances it's like the five capsule wardrobe of fragrances in my collection so i don't know i'm interested to hear what you think about these so now i challenge you lovelies to go into your collection and pick out five of the only five that you need from your collection because if I had to do it, you had to do it too. You just have to do it because it's such a great challenge. And let me know what your picks are in the comment section because yeah, this was like challenging but a breath of fresh air. Like I'm so glad I could do it. We have come to the end of this video. Subscribe if you have not already and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed what I brought to the table. Let's interact in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.